Yeah. Uh, a very warm welcome on behalf of the BOS in architecture from VTU and uh, uh, a very warm welcome to Dayanand Sagar College of Engineering campus. Uh, today the Board of Studies in Architecture of Vishweshwarya Technological University, Belgaum uh, has a 10 hour uh, program interaction with uh, architects professionals from the building industry on the core subject in our syllabus, architectural design and this is a part of the BIAC syllabus revision for the year 2014-15. I must uh, thank uh, uh, Dr. Rama Subramaniam and uh, Dayanand Sagar College uh, of Architecture and the Dayanand Sagar College of Engineering for the support and uh, giving us this wonderful venue for the second time. I must also thank the Indian Institute of Architects, Karnataka chapter for once again supporting us in the uh, second program and along with them the, the Malnad Architecture School alumni, Masa. I th thank them also for the continued support for the cause of uh, architectural education. Now I, I must start this address with our university umbrella. The university right now is in Belgaum and I will tell you briefly about the university. The university setup has this protocol hierarchy with the Governor of Karnataka as the Chancellor, the Honorable Higher Education Minister as the Pro-Chancellor. Along with him comes the Principal Secretary Department of Higher Education, Government of Karnataka and the DTE, Direct Directorate of Technical Education. We all come under technical education and uh, the AIS AICT also puts us under uh, architecture and uh, technical education. <coughs> the, the university uh, apex bodies starting with the executive council, the academic senate, board of studies of which I, I am the chairman and there are nine members today here present and uh, the board of examination Dr. Rama Subramaniam is the chairman of the board of examination for this year. The, all the bodies have the uh, Honorable Vice-Chancellor and the Registrar, is also called Registrar Academic. The Registrar Evaluation is the head of the Board of Examinations. <coughs> For Academics, we have uh, uh, the Vice-Chancellor heading, Registrar Academics, Dean Faculty of Engineering presently Dr. Rao who is the Principal of GIT in Belgaum. And uh, we have a joint board of studies which decides the major policy, uh, policy for academics. There are a number of uh, chairman board of studies in 12 disciplines, uh, courses of engineering, engineering slash technology. And besides that, the 13th basic sciences, MCA, MBA programs, these are three more programs. The 16th program is architecture, which has been clubbed with civil engineering and engineering. But still we are not out of that as an independent faculty. We are still under the faculty of engineering in the university for administrative purposes. Because not, in the beginning there were not many schools. Now we have proliferated to 25 schools in uh, Karnataka out of which the 12 mentioned here are uh, non-autonomous and besides this we have uh, RV College, BMS, main, uh, uh, main college at Basangudi, Bull Temple Road and Ramaya, Tumku, SIT Tumkur, uh, some of them are autonomous institutions. So this syllabus, uh, uh, this syllabus which we have right now from the year 2000, this booklet is for the non-autonomous uh, schools of architecture. So this is one umbrella. We also have a, a government umbrella and a council of architecture umbrella for ed architectural education. 
The Joint Board of Studies, which I mentioned, met in Belgaum after the uh, Board of Studies and all the disciplines were constituted. And uh, there was a message from the Vice Chancellor because he could not come for both the meetings which were held. So the main thrust from the VC, uh, Dr. H, uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. H, Maheshappa, is very simple, get response from the industry, professionals, experts, as to what is lacking in our syllabus and our end product, the graduate BRC and uh, postgraduates MRCs who are coming out of the portals of this institution. So what is lacking uh, with these students or maybe uh, everything is alright. So we want this response from you. That's why we have engaged a number of workshops and seminars in which we have called the leading architects in Bangalore and uh, there, there is an architect from Belgaum as well, <coughs> outside Bangalore. And most of you are veterans, very senior, so it's an honor for all of us uh, teachers to be uh, present with uh, such eminent veteran architects who can guide us and we, we should be able to prepare a better syllabus. <coughs> the Vice Chancellor has nominated the following senior professors, seven of them, uh, most of them are heading uh, schools of architecture. Uh, Professor Shivakumar was uh, <coughs> the one who started the Acharya school, now he is a professor there. Has he come here today, Professor Shivakumar? <laughs> Dr. Rama Subramaniam is uh, heading the Dayanand Sagar school of architecture. Uh, Dr. Mamata Raj from BMS Bull Temple and Dr. Om Prakash Bhavane from Arvi College. Professor Paranjyoti Patil is she here from GIT Belgaum. So these are the people from the education <coughs> and uh, the Vice Chancellor asked me uh, through phone for nominating one or two uh, professionals from the industry. So it, it was very tough, very difficult choice for me. So after a lot of uh, uh, <coughs> thought, I selected architect Bharat Goda, uh, who is now coordinating all these workshops and seminars. Uh, and he is an architect plus engineer. Because <laughs> after doing uh, a BR from UVC, he has gone to the US and has done MTech in structures. We also have architect uh, Vishwanath nominated by the Vice Chancellor as one of the BOS members. Uh, a warm welcome to all of you. Now the, the university syllabus revision is an ongoing process. Every three years, four years, five years they revise the syllabus and uh, mainly the, the way they do it, uh, what I learned from the joint board of studies meetings is they look at areas of obsolescence, remove some subjects and then there are fine tuning of certain subjects where part of the subject is revised and part of it is obsolete. So there is fine tuning of certain subjects and uh, the new, new subjects, new areas are also introduced. So this is as simple as this. <coughs> now coming to what the VTU, BOS and architecture has already done, we had a first meeting in uh, the Oxford School of Architecture uh, where, I, where I belong. And we revised the BR 2009 scheme and uh, come, came up with a proposal for the uh, new scheme for 2014. And uh, next we had the first workshop at the same Dayanam Sagar where uh, morning and afternoon session we discussed MRC urban design scheme of teaching and examination and MRC habitat design uh, in uh, BMS college. Well, the first one is an RV. Both these MRC schemes were discussed and then we had a second BOS meeting at Dayanand Sagar. The second workshop was held in Bull Temple Road uh, where the BRC subjects were discussed and most of you had come for the first workshop. It was uh, very interesting and the way we are doing it right now is we are recording all the responses and probably putting it up, Bharat said he will be putting it up on YouTube in the, on the web. The, uh, 
the, the VTU uh, Joint Board of Studies has also given us a schedule. We have already completed uh, for four, four months and uh, the, the scheme uh, for MARC BRC has to be submitted shortly. By April 2014, we have to submit the final document and it will be will go for print. There will be one more workshop, uh, grand workshop uh, for all the disciplines which the university will conduct and uh, most of you will be invited there again and uh, after that uh, it will go for print. Yeah. Now coming to the subject of architectural design, I am just showing, uh, pre uh, presenting four, sh four shots, four slides, just to warm you all up and then most of you uh, are experienced, you will be talking about it, uh, you know more than me because you are from the profession and uh, the way we teach it and we have been teaching it because I, I and most of us come from different backgrounds. I am from IIT Kharagpur 70-75, a mark from IIT Kharagpur 76-78. So I still remember how I was taught. So that is etched in most of our memories from if you are from SPA Delhi or Septemadabad or anywhere JNTU Hyderabad. So each of us have different backgrounds. So anyway, the <coughs> architectural design uh, as I see it, but these are my views, time-bound, objective, unbiased, creative, iterative, individual decision-making process where the, the instrument with which you design is the human body and the central nervous system and the mind and brain, whatever. This synthesis of form or form synthesis, these words were coined uh, early in 60s or even earlier than that. I read the notes on the synthesis of form in a journal by Christopher Alexander. I was fascinated by that article. Uh, he was a mathematician. The architectural design studio, the faculty on one hand and the students on the other hand, they have different roles to play. The faculty virtually doesn't teach anything excepting that he pours, pours some knowledge down and uh, they are experts, some of them, the visiting faculty, and there, there are task masters, there are process facilitators, there are continuous critics. I have seen teachers only criticizing and not doing anything else. So we have different types of faculty and I say more the merrier the student should be exposed to different guys. So <coughs> the other person in the studio, the main incumbent student, as an individual, he should be treated as, this is my view again, to be treated as an individual objective designer who is acquiring knowledge and skills of analysis, uh, creative analysis and creative synthesis. So the, uh, today what I find is there is a need for objectivity in analysis and spatial program and the creative act of uh, synthesis is very, very subjective. And it is a skill to be acquired over the 10 semesters and beyond into practice. So this is what we do in the studio. The architecture design studio, we uh, progressively increase the layers and complexity and we give them, the students, tasks, assignments, exercises. Now till the sixth semester, this is 81 to 86, because they haven't picked up all the subjects, so uh, this is my personal feeling, we should not give them full-fledged projects in the six, first six semesters and they should be introduced to design in, uh, in small quantums and la small uh, few layers and you slowly increase the layers. This I picked up from Kurula Varki uh, way back 25 years ago when he came to the same college, Diana Sagar, and I heard him talking. He is no more, but he was one of the best teachers in India. XIITM senior to me. Then he became director in SEPT, I think. Anyway, uh, the projects can be introduced only after all the subjects they have got an exposure, that is the 7th and 8th. Now, when we were students, we had theses in the 10th semester. Now they have the sending of the students in the 8th semester itself for training, one year training. But the council norm still says we must have the theses viva in the 10th semester. But somehow in the VTU, in the previous syllabus, they have removed theses from 10th semester and they are completing uh, BR theses in the 8th semester, which I feel is not correct because a student is not mature at that age. He needs one more year 
and some more training uh, inputs from training should be also added on into the 10th semester the thesis now <coughs> we we deal with in design we deal with forces parameters factors issues layers and uh, we, we have to we deal in hierarchy of these layers so i am just uh, throwing up these are ideas for, to warm you all up for the next 10 hours you will be talking about most of these things now uh, most of the students we teach them to design from fundamentals when my background at, at iit we were taught to design from fundamentals versus rampant plagiarism which is going on in most of the schools in most of the subjects whether it is building construction or graphics or design there is a simply copying and fooling around most of the time i am this is my again my view so the the student should be taught to be in the driver seat or the the designer seat and he should be in control of the design which i don't find in most of the studios lacking the the normal process in most of the studios i went across throughout the country is we introduce the project and then there is some brief and aims and objectives and uh, the layers to be addressed then there is an uh, objective unbiased analysis or sometimes it is biased analysis the breaking up of uh, components and uh, understanding and clarity these are the this is the process through which we take the students there is literature review web search case studies and they see the uh, state of the art of that building type or whatever and uh, there are contextual studies climate etc culture then we have user activity space analysis and they come up with a special program a quantitative physical tangible and also a program for qualitative and intangible non physical aspects which again is lacking is taught in the basic design class in the first semester and forgotten throughout the next semesters this is a serious problem where they are not able to translate the abstract into 2d 2d and 3d then there must be a declaration of design intentions uh, concept or theme or whatever you want to call it uh, i i call this entire thing quantitative qualitative you add it up the whole thing is the concept and then there is again uh, objective program evolution versus vim and fancy most of the students in most of the studios we are having a serious problem they just look at a cloud and say my building will look like a cloud and then uh, they concoct uh, concoction of concept and back calculation they do something and then try to establish a concept based on what they have done so this is a serious problem in this design studio then according to me design efficacy is when you declare your intentions and work towards it and then the way we see that it is matching or the degree of uh, achievement has been there or not there we ask the student whether he has himself achieved what he wanted to achieve I mean create that ambience or whatever now coming to uh, from analysis creative analysis creative synthesis is again fully in the hands of the designer there is no teacher involved there no that is a skill which he has to slowly learn from two layers to three layers you know combining uh, many layers and uh, addressing complexity in the higher semesters as projects now we have we have uh, through our career we have heard of this broadband methods and then form follows function and function follows form and predetermined forms so th this is what we have been going through i i am very curious to know if there are so many more ways of addressing design from all of you and uh, but the most difficult part of it uh, the students are facing right now and uh, the teachers are unable to address in the studio is this translation from abstract to reality intangible to tangible abstraction to 2d 3d which is limited only to the basic design class and it vanishes in the architectural design studios the the skill of synthesis is what has to be addressed by the student yeah. is not moving mm, okay also the the, uh, the the teachers the board of studies when um, designing the syllabus framing the syllabus we have to look at the horizontal and vertical linkages 
the 10 semester syllabus has been crushed to 8 semesters that is a serious problem and the, the, we have a, the framework of COA, COA norms which says stage 1, 6 semesters you do this stage 2, 4 semesters you do this so then that leaves us no other option but to follow the COA norms so we can come up with only cosmetic changes like what has been done now in the syllabus uh, scheme, of, uh, scheme of teaching and examination you change this subject from here to there and cut half the subject, put it there. These are all cosmetic changes. But I am still not seeing any change in the approach and the system fundamental changes out of clarity understanding is still yet to come because we are held up by the university umbrella and the council of architecture umbrella and our own laziness. <coughs> yeah. This is the existing scheme in this book from 2009 where we see that uh, on the left side you see studio lab practical. These are the drawing uh, classes held in the studio. The concept of studio is not followed in most of these schools. In, in IIT I remember there were uh, five BIAC, uh, four masters and PhD all operating 24 hours. They used to virtually live in the studios. That concept is no longer valid in these urban areas where they just attend some seven hours and run home. And the, the studio concept is not completed. Anyway, these are the studio uh, subjects. Design continues till the end. BC also, building construction. Graphics, two semesters. And there are other drawing subjects like working drawing and all that. Here on this side, for, for the first semester you have an early uh, civilization structures, co communication skills. So these, these, these horizontal uh, learning of the theory subjects and then going vertically, the, the design uh, studio should address only the subjects exposed to them. So you, you, if you have not done climatology, you can't address it in the design studio in the second semester, something like that. So these linkages have to be examined is what I am mentioning. Now here in the existing scheme, uh, they go away for professional training in the 9th and 10th semester and uh, th thesis has been addressed only in the 8th semester which we have changed in the proposed scheme we, we, are, we are following the back to the council norm which says 10th semester uh, th thesis viva so we have added uh, that back now today's program we have architects, professionals, experts responding to the 2009 existing syllabus. I think uh, you have been given the uh, all the design uh, uh, design uh, thing. Yeah. Anyway, don't give me. Most of you, you have given it to everyone, no? Yeah. 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 All the eight uh, d design sheets given in the syllabus has been distributed to all of you. Yeah. This lot. Right. So we have uh, me speaking now, then after that three speakers in AD1, one speaker in AD2, three speakers in AD3, uh, like that. So we have 22 presentations of 20 minutes and uh, along with lunch and tea. So it's nearly 10 hours uh, of interaction seminar today and all these presentations will be recorded and put on the YouTube for uh, future use. Now. The program is not like this. See, the semester one, there are three speakers: uh, architect Vatsala, architect Arun, Prashant Pol, and then semester two, there is only one speaker. In the third semester, there are three. Semester four, one. Fifth semester, there are three. Sixth semester, three more. Seventh semester, three, and thesis, there are four. <laughs> So totally 21 presentations, including mine 22, uh, but there are 23 architects, uh, two couples, so 23 architects. Now this is the actual program, so Bharat has got everything mixed up, you know, no? <laughs> we have 8 speakers in the morning, uh, after lunch 6 speakers and 7 speakers after tea break, we are ending with Jaisim, he's on the way from Kolkata. So again, once again, I thank uh, the Malnad Architecture School Alumni, the Indian Institute of Architects, and Bayan and Sagar College of Engineering for wonderful support. And I thank all the 23 architects for giving their invaluable time 
and we are waiting for your response. I hand over to you, the architects.